an insect. A fox. A crab. Death. Death. I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? He's a very solitary kid, you know, very focused within himself. He's really close to his mother. With me, he's more distant. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? I no longer want to live. I have no reason to continue. Not even for your son, Sean. I couldn't save Jason. Sean doesn't need a father like me. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? I sometimes have these blackouts, times when I don't know what I'm doing. I recover consciousness sometime later, but I'm someplace else, and I have no idea how I got there. Do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. We really don't know what effect a shock like that can have on the brain. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. <laughs>